Hi, I'm Sean with Backflow Supply out of Salt Lake City, Utah. I want to talk about insulating your backflow assembly. In my opinion, I don't think it's necessary in most cases. However, there are places in this country where you're using your sprinkler system year-round and it gets down to some cold temperatures at night. In those places, it may be beneficial to keep an insulated cover over it. There are other times where there are people that seem to do everything right to winterize it, but they tend to freeze it over and over and over. And they may want to put it on. Um, the other times that you may need to put it on is if you're going to be using your lawn sprinkler system late into the fall and before you're ready to turn it off, maybe you're still watering some sod that was put down or some seed, but we get the freezing temperatures. You may want it then. You may want it in the spring for the same reason. You've got sod or seed that's gone down and you've got temperatures that are going down into the freezing temperatures at night, but it warms back up nicely in the day. Putting it on then would be helpful. But if you're turning it off in plenty of time in the fall and it's going to be drained uh, properly for the winter, then I wouldn't worry about putting insulation over it. I have seen videos and pictures and people telling me of seeing backflows that have been wrapped with normal insulation that you use in the walls of your home or a blanket or towels that they wrap around it and they may or may not put a plastic bag over the top of it or a garbage bag uh, but then they wrap it with duct tape either with the plastic bag over it or not the problem is that if it gets wet then you've just created a way for it to freeze more efficiently. So that's not a good way to do it. Also keep in mind that without a heat source, insulating it will only slow down the freezing process. Eventually it will become the same temperature inside the insulation as it is outside. And it also slows down the warming up process. So if you still think you need an insulated cover, there are many companies out there that make insulated bags. I sell a few of them. I, I'm not sure if I've got them on my website. I'll check that. Um, and we can put those on there. And if you're re really interested, let me know and I'll give you some prices on some different options. We've got a local guy who's making one out of a marine grade uh, cloth with an insulated uh, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's kind of a metal insulation. And I'll open that up here in a second and I'll show you. And it's got a grommet here with a clasp that you can lock that down just by turning it. And that's a nice benefit. He's also Velcroed the bottom of it. So that's the inside of the bag. It's just that, that uh, foil that's it's insulation. I'm not sure what the R value of this is, but it's a nicely made pouch. It goes over the top of your backflow assembly like this. And then you just put that clasp through the hole and turn it and squeeze the Velcro together. And that's all you need to do. Now you don't have to worry about this going all the way down to the ground. You may still have some pipe that's exposed and that's okay. It's drained. It really doesn't need it. That's all you need to do for that one. Now, he makes it also in a green color. Uh, and he makes them in custom sizes as well. He makes them for pressure vacuum breakers where it's more of this type of configuration where it's taller than it is wide. So the, the opening would be down here. He'll also make custom enclosures for you. And he's made them quite long. I've had a customer ask for one that would fit over a four inch assembly. So it was about six feet long and about four feet uh, deep. Um, he's also told me that he's actually sewn some uh, heat cable inside the pouch. So he's got some things that he can do. If you're interested in that, we can, we can talk about that. The other company that I have sold the pouches for is uh, Decora and they make these in this green color and in a they call it desert tan but it's a lighter tan than this one it almost seems white um, and it's just a plastic with insulation on the inside uh, even on the inside it's it's plastic same as it is on the outside it has some grommets that you can either zip tie together 
put a carabiner through, a lock, whatever you want to do. Um, and they make these in a variety of sizes as well. So keep that in mind. I know that uh, Strongbox also makes them. I think they call them polar pouches. And I've sold a few of those. Uh, if you just look on the internet, you'll find a lot of options. Now, if you're really concerned about it freezing, and you may even have assemblies that are up to two and a half, ten 10 inches in size, then we also sell enclosures that are aluminum or fiberglass. You've got your options. Those come with insulation that's sprayed into the inside of them in most of those cases and with heaters. Also keep in mind that no matter what type of heat source, you're going to have to get some electricity to it. Um, the, some of the smaller enclosures, for example, the Cora cells, some that are a polyurethane uh, cover, and if you want it insulated, they'll just put this pouch in there with it. So you'll put this over the backflow assembly first, and then put the cover over the top of it. So those are a few options. I hope that you found this to be helpful. I just don't want you to go out there and and uh, try and do it yourself and not be aware that you could be doing more harm than good, and it may be totally unnecessary. If you find this uh, to be helpful, please click the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please do so and uh, click the notification bell so that you'll get those notifications when I post. Thank you for your time and uh, look forward to your comments. Have a good day.